Huh? That's caution. Yeah, it says caution. Very good reading, buddy. Chloe got on her walking outfit, princess dress. Mama. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. So I'm actually, excuse my head scarf. <laughs> um, we're actually waiting for Noah's therapy to start. And I just finished like cleaning out the kitchen. I have a couple boxes to unpack. So I figured I would turn the camera on and let you guys see what I'm unpacking. Here we go. All right, so this first box is from Zappos. And this one is definitely courtesy of well thanks to happy stylish mommy um she showed these and honestly when she showed these i had just told my husband like the day before that i needed some like sandals for walking because it gets so hot um and we do like walks around the neighborhood a lot with my kids or my um, son will be on a bike ride and I'll need to walk slash jog with him. Now, I probably won't be jogging in this, but for a walk or going to the playground or something, I think these would be perfecto. Um, because I get tired of wearing tennis shoes. It's like so hot. I am definitely a sandals girl through and through. <laughs> so, um, but you know, you can't like walk in regular flip flops. So, when she showed these, I was like, hey, I guess this is my sign. I never thought that these would be a type of sandal I like, but she styled them and they were so cute on her. So I figured I would try them. I'm not sure how they're gonna work. Um, Cause they are like this dad sandal, which is kind of a trend right now, but I've never liked these kinds of shoes. <laughs> But I saw them styled on her and they look so cute. So I figured I would try them. Bought them from Zappo. So if I don't like them, I'll return them. Uh, but they look cute on her. And I've heard how comfortable these are. So that's what they look like. So, yeah. Um, we'll see. All right. The second box is from Wink. So some of y'all probably know what this is. This is a wine subscription, and if you've been following me for a long time, you would know that I've had this wine subscription for forever. However, I just restarted it. So I initially started this wine subscription when I moved into the current house that I'm in, which was 2014, um, because we have like a little wine room. Well, yeah, we have a little wine room, and I needed to put some wine in there. So that's why I started this wine subscription initially. But then, you know, had babies, so I paused it for every baby and for, you know, while I was breastfeeding. And so, yeah, I just decided to restart it. <laughs> Long story over nothing, right? Um, little coupon. So this is my first box and probably, probably since I had Chloe. No, not that long. I did restart it after Chloe for a little bit. And then I think my card expired and I decided to just, you know, stop her for a while. But anyway, so uh, this is, I got four bottles of wine. So the first one is this one, it's Keep It Chill. And I think this is, yeah, it's a red wine. Serve chilled. I like this bottle, it's really cute. Next one I got is this one and it's called Gruner Delft Liner, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's a white wine. And you can pick your own wines or you can let them suggest ones for you. I picked all four of these. So, and sometimes the way I pick is honestly based on the label. So if I like the way the label or the bottle looks then I'll kind of read what it's about and then it'll kind of suggest other wines that are similar. So that's kind of what I do too. Um, this one is Organic Sans Souffre. And what kind is this? I know it's a red wine, but I feel, yeah, cherries. So I figured I would like this because I really love cherries. And then this last one is Honey Beast, I believe. Yeah, Honey Beast. And this is supposed to be a honey, have honey infused, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, Honeysuckle, Apricot, and Rose. So we shall see how I like these. I'm gonna go put these away. Um, I'll probably put one in the fridge and then the rest I'll put away, so. Maybe I'll show y'all my little wine setup. All right, so this is our little wine room. It's a little bit messy, but I figured I would show y'all anyway. Um, my favorite thing about it is honestly this door. So I'll show y'all. 
so it's there. Now, there's a mirror in here right now that does not belong here. <laughs> um, it's actually waiting for my husband to hang it. So we stuck it in here because the kids won't knock it over in here because they don't come in here. Um, so that's why it's in here, but generally it's not. Um, so yeah, I also like this like faux brick. That's like my second favorite part of here. But this is our little wine area. It's a bit messy and I need to clean it out. All the little like free glasses we get <laughs> from places are in here. But honestly, I probably need to throw up, throw them away <laughs> and throw away some of those other ones or give them away ones I don't use anymore because it looks a little like messy. But you know, this is real life. I did not clean this up for y'all. This is how it looks as of right now. So yeah, um, needs to be clean. My husband kind of took it over with all his uh, cognac. Um, we do have a bar area, but we don't really use it anymore. Um, <laughs> long story but we have a bar area upstairs we used to have a like a game room upstairs um in our like, bonus area but we turned it into a playroom so the bar is still up there it's kind of like in its own little corner but the bar is still up there but that's why we don't use it is because now it's like a kids play area so it really doesn't fit but we didn't want to get rid of the bar because at some point we will turn that back into an adult area <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is what the little wine room looks like. It's just a tiny little like closet. Um, and then we have this little wine fridge, which actually is a little bit crooked right now. I need to turn it. But yeah, so we have some wine in there and um, a few beers. I also have a shaker down there, so just to keep it chilled. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Not clean. Do not judge my dust, y'all. I was not planning on showing y'all this today, but here we are. Burning this candle today from DW Home. It's pineapple and geranium. It smells so good. It's just not, like, it doesn't have a very wide throw. So I'm actually burning another one in my living room. I'm not gonna go in there though, because Noah's watching Trolls right now. Uh, but this is like in the entryway of my home and it smells really good. <laughs> very subdued this morning. Are you saying something for PJ Masks? All right, go, um, go pee. Go pee pee and, um, Put on your swim shorts. Noah's therapy is over, so now we are having some pool time just to get him out of the house. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna eat my little lunch and drink my water. And so I'm gonna be eating some pasta salad, just a tiny bit. Um, I am really trying to watch what I'm eating, but I'm not on a diet. So I'm kind of doing portion control. And then I got my water. Um, these are like little plastic outdoor glasses. So yeah. You gonna get in? Good morning, happy Monday. So I am actually really tired. I tried to take a nap. Oh, actually today is Tuesday. Look, that's how tired I am. <laughs> I tried to take a nap, um, but I couldn't do it. Noah's in therapy right now, so I really can't take a nap anyway, but I was trying to catch like 10 minutes, but I couldn't do it. So I decided to just go ahead and start editing this video that I filmed last week. And I wanted to show you all this. I bought this from the store when I was out of town. And I just figured I would try it since I like the nitro cold brew. So 
Let's see how it tastes. It tastes good. It's almost like a regular nitro cold brew with sweet cream from from Starbucks, but I feel like this tastes slightly sweeter. Um, but it's good. Calories are still low, so 70 calories for the whole can. Um, and that does have some sugar, and that's because this one is the vanilla sweet cream one. Um, they also had a like dark caramel one, and that one was 45 calories. And I actually drank that one yesterday. I went out of town this past week, weekend, <laughs> just for like an overnight stay real quick to Orlando with the kids just to do something. And um, so while I was there, I picked these up because I didn't know what my coffee situation was going to look like. And I get headaches now if I don't drink coffee. So, yeah, that's it. Hey, y'all. So, I just got a delivery. It's later in the day. I finally decided to get my butt out of the bed. <laughs> but I just got a delivery that I wanted to share with y'all. It's something that I've wanted for a while. And, I don't know, I hesitated. And then I waited for it to go on sale. So, it's on sale right now. These go off and on on and off sale and the first time i saw it, it was actually on sale but then i didn't get it like i said i hesitated then it went off sale and i wish i would have gotten it so i i knew it would go back on sale so here we are so hopefully it's not too dark in here i'm sitting in my closet but i ordered two blazers from express so pretty look at that one this one i both of these are the same blazer. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all. They're the same blazer, but they're different colors. And to me, they look um, Balmain inspired. Maybe I'll try it on for y'all in a second. Even though I just have on like lounge clothes. But I'll try it on just so you guys can see. So I got it in the cream. And then I also got it in the classic black. Now, I like the cream better, like the way it looks. Um, I haven't tried these on yet because I just got them. I like the way it looks better, but I feel like I don't have a classic black blazer. And the one that I do have looks too business-like. So when I like go out, I'm not really going anywhere, but <laughs> if I wanted to wear it casually, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I wanted something a little bit more snazzy. So yeah, so that's what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and um, maybe try these on for y'all. Just a second. All right, so sorry if you hear an echo. I'm in my bathroom, y'all. But I love this blazer. It is so cute. It fits just like I want it to fit. Now, I cannot close this, but I would not. The way I'm shaped, I prefer my blazers to be fitted and even a tiny bit small than to be oversized. I mean, there is a time and a place for an oversized blazer, but I feel like for me, a lot of times oversized blazers just make me look bigger and like frumpy. So I have to really like think about wearing an oversized blazer, whereas like with a cropped, like fitted blazer like this, I feel like they are so easy to style. And if you didn't know me, I love my blazers. I used to wear them a lot more when I went out more places, <laughs> but I really don't go anywhere, guys. Like when I used to go out at night, a blazer would always be my go-to. My friends would always be like, oh, I know I used to wear a blazer and some jeans, but hey, it's me. I'm basic, but I like that. <laughs> Anyway, so this is what the black looks like. The sleeves don't come all the way down. That's how they're supposed to fit. So you could pull them up if you want. Uh, they don't really stay up, but you could probably like fold them up if you want to. I actually like them like this, um, but I have seen people like pull them up even higher or fold them up even higher just to give a more like casual vibe. Oh yeah, the lining is a bit striped too. So yeah, that would definitely work if you wanted to do that. Um, but I'll probably wear mine just like this, but I really like it. It looks very detailed and it fits very well, which makes it look more expensive. So I picked mine up in a size four. Um, my sizing is all over the place, y'all. Like typically in shirts, I purchase mediums in most women's sizes, but from some stores I do purchase smalls. Express is one of those stores that depending on how the shirt is made, I will purchase a small because I, you know, it depends on how I want it to fit, honestly. So small, medium, but most of the time I'm a medium. Just, you know, I have chest. Um, and I do have a little belly, like, you know, ever since having kids, I have a belly. <laughs> but when you compare my top to my bottom, it's a lot smaller than, my top is a lot smaller than my bottom and my shoulders. I feel like I'm very narrow across here. 
So if I get something too big, I feel like it just kind of hangs off me, if that makes sense. Okay, so here's the black one. Super happy with this. And let me try on the other one for y'all. All right, here's the cream color one, and I really like it, but for some reason, I feel like it's a little bit tighter in the sleeves, even though they are the same blazer. I mean, my sleeves are a little rolled up, so maybe that's my fault. Let's see. Let's see if I can straighten up my little shirt, which is like a kid's shirt. That's why it looks so small. <laughs> this is a kid's like extra large that I bought one year at Target during like um, Black History Month. But I love this shirt, so I just went ahead and got it. But it is a little, it is a little small. Oh. All right. So yeah, this one definitely feels a tiny bit tighter. It's not too tight for me, um, but I would probably only wear, see that? See how tight that is right there? So it is pretty tight. I mean, this, this blazer does have some stretch to it, so it's not uncomfortably tight, but I don't like the way this looks. So I'm gonna keep this for sure, but I probably will only wear this with sleeveless things, which typically when I'm wearing a blazer, because it's so hot, I'm wearing it with something sleeveless underneath anyway. So that's not a deal for me. I do really like the way it fits through the body. I love the color. And I just think it just looks so chic, even with my <laughs> joggers on. All right, and since I'm showing y'all clothes, I might as well show y'all these joggers that I've been wearing for like, <laughs> I've worn them like three times in like the week and a half that I've had them. And they are just like so comfortable. They're lounge wear. So these are what they look like. Sorry, I don't have, I'm not standing in front of a mirror where y'all can really see them. But they are from Old Navy and they were pretty inexpensive. I think they were like $15, but I love them. Um, before this, I, I always have had a hard time finding joggers because my hips and legs are so big and a lot of joggers are so like skinny on the leg. It just like the pockets on joggers they would look like ridiculous on me even if I could fit into the pants because the pockets would like bulge out because my hips are so big. So I really like these. So if you have that problem with like big hips, um, maybe you wanna check these out. If they're still available, I'll try to link them down below. So y'all, I was getting ready to hang these up and I realized that I lied to y'all. I got this one in a size four, but the other one I actually got a size six. So that explains why they feel different. So I got to think about if I'm going to try to exchange this for a six or if I'm just going to keep one in the different size. Um, because I do feel like this one I probably would only wear in the warmer months. So I'll probably just be wearing with a, um, a tank top underneath or something sleeveless underneath, whereas the black one I feel like I will wear during the winter and I'll probably have like sleeves underneath. So I might just keep it like this, but I'll probably play around with it the next couple of days and see if I want to make an exchange or not. But I absolutely love both of them. Also, since I'm up here in my bathroom, I wanted to show y'all this cheapy cologne that my husband has. That smells so good. He um, when we went out of town this weekend. He sprayed this on and I didn't know what he was wearing. I was like, ooh, you smell good. What is that? And then he wouldn't tell me. <laughs> but then when he told me, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so good. So it's almost gone. So yeah, he's gonna have to get another one of these. This smells so good. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a dupe for anything, but it's from Art of Shaving, which is like one of those, you know, fancy men's shaving stores. Um, my husband used to get like aftershave and like shaving oil, you know, those kinds of things from there. And he bought this from there one day on his own, y'all, on his own. And it smells like so delicious. He, I guess he hadn't worn it in a long time, so I didn't recognize it, but yeah. If you want to get your man something and don't want to spend a ton, try this out. You will not be disappointed. Obviously, it smells like bourbon and amber, but it is also kind of like clean smelling. So it doesn't smell like they've been like drinking all night. It just smells like that rich, dark, smoky type scent while still smelling kind of like clean and light. So yeah, highly recommend. I don't know how long it lasts or anything, y'all, because I don't wear it, but... For the smell alone, even if it only lasts like three hours, I would be perfectly fine with that. <laughs> Just want to show y'all a more accurate picture of the joggers. So yeah, love these. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So Noah just started his therapy and I am getting ready to 
do a quick workout not much because honestly i haven't really been working out and i don't feel the best but i just feel like i need to do something before you know it gets to be too bad you know how you go so long not working out and you never want to work out again <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna do probably i think i'm just gonna do the peloton which is hard to be anyway um but i'm gonna i don't have a peloton by the way let me show y'all real quick what i'm about to do so i'm a member of the peloton like digital community but i do not have a peloton bike i have a, this bike from amazon which was like three hundred dollars if y'all don't know pelotons are around or close to twenty five hundred dollars i believe if i remember correctly i have looked up the price i contemplated getting one before i got this and honestly if they were cheaper i would definitely get one but it's twenty five hundred dollars and then you also have to pay for your membership um i think you have to sign up for at least a year so I just feel like for me, I'm very fickle. So I really didn't want to put that much money into it. But I think if you're somebody that can stick with something, I definitely think they're worth it. So, but for me, or if you want to do it the cheap way, I got this for like $400 or $300 or something. And then I do the app. So today I'm getting ready to do that one, which is the 20 minute pop ride with Sam Yo. I've never taken one of his classes before. So hopefully I like him. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do today because I don't want to push myself too hard. I really just want to make sure I do something, you know, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get started before I talk myself out of doing this. <laughs> I'm talking with y'all in it. So I know that was only 20 minutes, but it kicked my butt. <laughs> oh gosh, cardio for me is the absolute hardest, the hardest. It's like my lungs are just not there. Um... Plus the fact that I've had a cough. No, I don't have COVID. I've actually had a, I had a cold like three weeks ago. Every time I get a cold, I get this cough. I haven't had a fever or any other COVID symptoms, but every time I get sick, I get this cough. It does not go away. So I've been taking my Singularia, which is like allergy medicine that you can take on a daily basis. And I have my inhaler. I try not to use my inhaler, honestly, because sometimes it makes me feel a bit jittery. <laughs> um, but I do have an inhaler, so just FYI, I don't want y'all to be worried. I do not have COVID. I just, this is just my normal. <coughs> anyway, that makes cardio even harder than it typically is. So, yeah, I am beat. So, not bad for 20 minutes, 220 calories. This is my scent of the day today. I still got some bad news i mean i don't want y'all to be worried but some disappointing news so i wanted like a feel good scent <laughs> after my shower so it's gonna be casablanca by swiss arabian this is a sweet apple juice smelling fragrance it smells like sparkling apple cider to me with a bit of amber in it but it is so delicious smelling so yeah this is what we'll be wearing today hey y'all good morning happy saturday i know it's been a few days since i filmed but honestly i've just been working so nothing to show however i wanted to come on real quick um number one because i wanted to go ahead and wrap this vlog up but i got a few packages um one of them I'm actually in the midst of doing like a first impression on. So I opened it last night, sprayed it on myself last night uh, after taking a shower and I can still smell it this morning, a whole 12 hours later. So yeah, but um, that one is Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum. I'm not gonna give y'all too many of my thoughts on it because like I said, I am filming a first impression. I'm gonna do a review and a comparison with the regular Black Orchid. So that one will probably be up before this video, but I really don't know. Actually, no, this one will probably be up first. So um, yeah, look out for this video. So that was from Sephora. Also within that Sephora order, they had this new Laura Mercier uh, honey translucent powder that I got as a free sample. So not a free sample, but it was like a, um, a promo code. Yeah, so it was free, <laughs> but I got this too. So I will be taking that upstairs don't wear that much makeup anymore right now but i do wear it from time to time and i do like the laura mercier translucent powder but sometimes like when i'm darker i feel like it's a little bit too light for me and the medium deep one is too dark for me to like set underneath my eyes or anything 
it's like a bronze around me so um but i have some more fragrance see i'm supposed to be on this no buy but the Tom Ford one, I see, I, when I saw it, I knew I had to get it and I definitely want to review it. And then these two fragrances I'm getting ready to show you are from the brand Fragrenza. They sent me a bunch of fragrances um, after I initially talked about how much I loved one of their fragrances. They sent me a bunch and I'm doing a full video talking about all of them. But since I was doing the video, there were two more that I wanted. So I just went ahead and ordered those. Um, so that's what this is. And one of these is probably one of their most popular fragrances. It's supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which y'all know I have and love. So this one is kind of more for review purposes. I don't know that I'm gonna get use out of it, but this is called Amarena Cherry. Hey, Chloe. And then, the other one I got is a original from them and it's called Adesso. And this is one that I really wanted when I did my first order, but they were sold out. So they were back in stock. So I just went ahead and ordered both of these. I'll show y'all real quick what the bottle why, is. Why get, why get them in there? Hmm? Who's them in there? Who's in where? It's in here. What's in here? What's in the box? Yeah. Let's see. Looks like. And then they give you another box inside. What was inside? Another box. <laughs> and then this is what the fragrance looks like. I'm not gonna smell these on camera because like I said, I am doing a video, but all their bottles look like this. Some of them do have a little bit of a different label. Um, but most of them that I have have this same label. So, yeah, that's what they look like. So look out for a video on these coming soon. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be back later today because I think we are just chilling today. We all still got on our pajamas. <laughs> um, but if not, I'll go ahead and close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, I don't want to say anything. Okay. Bye.